the dark lies that have me blind. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Night. It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Alright, your turn. I can't see. Come on. Gary, can't take him around the world, is he? Isn't that a beautiful sight? Where are they going? New York, Singapore, Sydney, Cape Town, everywhere. You'll be 11 years old by the time they get home. Give him a wave. You had a nice day? Yeah. Yeah? Good girl. That's a good girl. and the Pongos got back from their joint honeymoon, there were Nanny Cook and Nanny Butler, fully trained, ready to welcome them into the little house facing Regent's Park. It came as something of a shock that Nanny Butler was wearing trousers. Wouldn't a black dress with a nice frilly apron be better, suggested Mrs Dearly, rather nervously, because Nanny Butler had never been her nanny. Very because good, Kerry. OK, Paula.
Where should we go, kiddo? What? Let's go somewhere. What do you want to do? I don't know. Should we go down the marina? What, now? Yeah. Get us an ice cream. One day I'll hire us a motor cruiser. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah, right. Take it across the channel, just you and me, eh? When? One day. Get pissed up in France and come back. You're 20. And another 25. Come on, Jim. He's bluffing, mate. Have him. Jim boy. He's bluffing, Jim boy. I'm bluffing, Jim boy. Bluffing, Jim boy. No problem. He's bluffing, mate. Come on, Pence. Another 40. Another 40. You're 40. And another 20. I'm bluffing, Jim. Come on, just stick it in. Go on, Jim see boy. Him. Come on, let's see. Oh, okay. Pair of jacks and three aces. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and again. Sorry, lads, I'm out of it. Hey, Lenny, all this winning's making me thirsty. Yeah. What are you telling me for? I'm not a bloody brewery. Go on, oh, get out oh, there oh, and get it in, you. We're telling you for crying out loud. Don't throw money what at a me. Tight fist. Don't throw chasers. Some bad run there, Jimmy. Tell me about it. Deal them upstairs. The last few years. Come on, ante up. I mean, who's gonna lend me some money then? Okay. Forty. Thanks. I will have you now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course you will, Jim. Let's make this interesting. I'll go 20. Bye then, get out. One fine day in January, when the snow was all gone, he said to Mrs. Dealey, let's drive out to Suff Suff Suffolk and return the little blue cart to Master Tommy Tompkins and also hunt for a country house. Well done. OK. Darren, you're next. And we'll Thanks. have a look at the... Aren't you going home? Well, hurry along then. Go on, off you go now. What's that? What is it?
cago. Hi, Carrie. I'm Graham. Where's my mum? Corfu. And I've been sent to look after you. Didn't she tell you? <laughs> well, I'm only joking. She's down the beauticians. I'm picking her up in a minute. How was school? Alright. Do you want a cup of tea? That's good. Walk into the woman's home. She doesn't know you, so what's she got to go on? Immediately she's looking for clues, right? Mm. A really good suit. Neat hair, clean shoes, clean breath, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of guys with bad breath, you wouldn't believe it. Oh no, I know it. You talking about me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, seriously. <laughs> After first impressions, you've got to have a nice manner. You must show that you've got time to listen that you're sensitive, mm -hmm. that you're a person who considers things. Yeah, it's all common sense, but you'd be amazed at the number of salesmen who haven't got a clue. <laughs> you get a guy who gets everything right, and then he has one glass of beer at lunchtime, and he stinks all afternoon. <laughs> Good manners and cleanliness. Talking of which, my turn to wash up. Night, Kerry. See you in the morning. Try it on. Come downstairs and show us. For you.
Would you like some wine? Uh, that's cool. Just, uh, oh, that's right. Oh. Okay, everyone, we're going to play some games. Okay, Kerry? This is the first game. It's very simple. I'll give you an instruction, say... Go to your mum and ask her to sing a song by Elvis Presley. Not Elvis. Not Elvis. All you have to do is walk over to your mum and ask her to do it. Then your mum tells you to go to, say, Philip here, and ask him to do something. Say, sing a song by... No, no, don't ask him to sing, please. I've got, <laughs> please, I've got a good voice. Sing. OK. I'll start you off. Go to Vanessa, the lady over there in the blue blouse, and ask her for a present for you. Can I have a present for you? <laughs> a present for me? A present for me. Of course you can, Jerry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> there we are. That's all you have to do. You can take it. Thank you. Now, Vanessa's going to ask you to go to someone else. Kerry, go to Peter and ask him to... Ask him to say something in a Donald Duck voice. Yeah, this week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say something in a Donald Duck voice. I go. I go. What you get, Terry? I am a very good job. Do you Mickey Mouse? Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> okay, Kerry. Go to Mike over there and ask him to stand on his head. And if he can't stand on his silly head and nothing falls out of his pockets, then he jolly well has to give you everything that's in his pockets. <laughs> stand on your head. Right. Right. Look out. Whoa. Oh, right. Just look down my direction. Mm. Oh. Just... Oh, oh, watch out on my telly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There's 150. Sweet. Let me take them for you. Okay, Mike. Who's next? You are. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kerry, go to Graham and tell him to stand like a statue in the middle of the room. <laughs> stand like a statue. Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now take down his trousers. <laughs> Come on, darling, they'll look funny. Oh, I can't hold this much longer. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, now unzip his flies. Now, take them down. Now take down his pants. Go on. <laughs> if you tell anyone about this guy, you will die. Let's see if we can find him, yeah? What you got there then? His letters. Dad! Dad! Mm. 
the bloody hell are you doing here? These are for you. What is this? Can I stay with you? What are you talking about? I don't want to go home. I don't live in the flat no more. I'm working. You can't just turn up here. You brought me my bloody bills. I don't believe it. I don't want to live with Graham. You brought me my bloody bills. He comes into my bedroom and... What? Mm. Kerry, is he nobbing you? Yeah. Right. Did I tell you you could shag my daughter? Did I? Jim, calm down. Did I? Just, just calm down. Did I? anyone ever again. She's been a lovely girl to have in school. We're all going to miss her. She does tend to go into her shell sometimes. Oh, it's just the same at home. <laughs> she spends hours in her room reading a book. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't surprise me. She's a very bright girl. Provided you keep up your enthusiasm, you'll do very well at South Park. There's no question about that. Curly 
I'll give us a second to finish it later. Right, this is what happens. Right, you stand there. Right, I'll be over there. Now, if a car slows down, you go up to it. The bloke will be on his own. You'll wind down his window, and you say, blow jobs and hand jobs only. Right? Right? Yeah. Right. He'll say how much, and you tell him, blow job 30 quid, hand job 25. All right? You get in the car, he'll, he'll, he'll travel on for a little bit, and then he'll stop to do the business. Don't let him do nothing without condom, all right? Right, the bloke will then drop you off back here. I'll be waiting for you, give me the dodge, all right? Helping Daddy, yeah? So, what do you say when the bloke wants down his window? Yeah. No job, 30 quid, hand job, 25. Uh, good I'm with my dad. Where? Is that him over there? Yeah. Is he pimping you? What? Jesus Christ. Listen, you go over there and you tell him that my pimp will... Excuse me. Oi! My pimp will brain you if you keep her out here. You bloody mad or what? Come on, kiddo, let's go. I haven't had the dodge to keep the car on the road. That's why I've been around to see you. Stone broke. I mean, some weeks I haven't even had the dodge to eat. Pay for a black job. So get in his cab, do the business, and you come back to me as soon as you're out, right? That's for you, for being such a good girl. Can you pay for the car now? Yeah! You're a winner, kiddo.
a second. We're back then. Yeah. Hello, Kerry. They've got a swimming pool in their garden, right? And his dad's there, his brother, and his brother's mate. And he's like, his shed to change him. I'm taking my knickers off, and there's like blood everywhere. It's soaking. What, can't you feel it when it comes out? No, I just thought I was sweating. Doesn't it hurt? No, you don't feel it. So I had to pretend I suddenly remembered I had a piano lesson or something. Oh, it was so embarrassing. What did you do? I went straight in, into town and got some contacts. Mm. Are you wearing one now? Okay. What's it like? It's easy. Did you tell your mum? Yeah, well, not until she saw the knickers, because it doesn't wash out properly. So she went straight out and bought me some towels. Towels are better, she said, because you might lose your virginity with tampons. Mm. I said, no way am I wearing those. They're like nappies. Mm. <laughs> How did you put it in? You just have a hot bath, yeah, and get really nice and relaxed, and just lie on your bed and put it in. It just goes in? Yeah, well, my mum showed me the first time. She showed you? <laughs> yeah, we had a right laugh. Could you get your mum to show you? I wouldn't. Nah. Would you tell her? I'd tell her, wouldn't you? Yeah. Couldn't tell my dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, you weren't. You had the TV on. Didn't you? Didn't you? Yes. You get up to your room. Move. Yes. What did she say? She just stuck her finger up at you. I never. Right! You little bitch. Slag. X-rays don't show any fractures, which is good news. Uh, the pain she feels when she's breathing is because she's bruised her ribs. But uh, no exercise and plenty of rest, and you'll be feeling a lot better in no time. <laughs> okay. That's good then. Uh, can I have a word with you outside for a second? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Notice that she has quite heavy vaginal bleeding. Uh, yeah, she does. Um, well, she's only recently just started her periods. Uh, we're in the middle of sorting out with her GP. Right. Why? Uh, could the fall have caused any more problems? No, there's no reason to think that. But um, I think she ought to see a gynaecologist. I'll, I'll see if someone's uh, available. We're already seeing a gynaecologist. What here? Yeah. Right. And when's your next appointment? Um, Monday. Uh, yeah, Monday. Right. Well, I'm sure everything's all right, um, but I should mention the fall to her. Oh, yes, I will. Okay. Um, and as far as the other injuries are concerned, there's nothing to worry us. Right. Have you missed any periods? I don't know. When was your last one? I've only had one. And when was that? When I was at school. I think she's had a miscarriage. that element they'll take the opportunity to have a scrap exert their force put their flag in and say this is ours but there's also another thing anybody know what it is um, 
heaven. That's it. They believed that they would actually go to heaven. It was a holy war. They were fighting for God himself. So I'll put that up on the board and just jot that down. They thought that they would go to heaven. Okay. Good start. And we'll keep it up. I want you to do two pages by Monday. And don't forget to use your primary sources sheets. They're in the reference book. trouble getting your homework done? No. But you're not getting it done, are you? And it's not just my class. Is it too difficult to do it at home? No. Then why isn't it being done? Too much telly. Well, maybe it's a good idea if you do your homework first and then watch the telly, yeah? If you're having problems, not just with your homework, we are here to help you, you know. Yes, sir. Would you like to have a chat after school? No, sir. Thank you, Kerry. You better get to your next lesson. Yes, sir. Kerry, you should have a look at the lower school board. Sometimes notices put up there to help you sort out things, like problems with your homework. Yes, sir.
I can't. Kerry? Kerry! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. All right? What's happening, Kerry? It's okay, darling. Listen. Don't worry. I can't go home. Why? Okay. After Graham raped me, it was painful to walk because it hurt so much in my vagina. I have not told this to anyone before because Graham said he would kill me if I told anyone and I believe him. I fully understand the meaning of the words sexual intercourse, rape, penis, vagina, and ejaculate. This statement is true and accurate to the best of my knowledge. I am willing to attend court and give evidence if necessary. Is that all right? Is everything correct? Yeah. What I want to do is examine you internally. Do you understand? The area around here. Yeah. Just but in order to yeah. help. No, we have to no, find out no, exactly no, what you need. No, 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 Hello there. Hi, Hi. this is Kerry. Hi, Kerry. I'm Sally. Come in. This is Jasmine. It's okay. She's quite friendly. It's gone through. Come on, Jasmine. Right, so, this is my husband, Tony. Hi. Busy in the garden, as usual. And um, the children, Joe and Lily. Really. Hi. Would you take your eyes off that thing for one and a half seconds, please, and say hello to Kerry? Hi. Um, Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, well, I'll take you up to your room. Bye. And uh, then you can come and lounge around like the rest of them. Okay. Shall I take your coat for you? Make you sure. Come on up there. Right, there's a bathroom through there. And uh, this is your room, Kerry. You might want to take down those school boards. I don't know. Right, this is it. It's your bed and uh, plenty of space in there. Well, too much space. Drawers. Um, little desk there. I'll find you a, a chair. And uh, some more drawer space here. Nice, oh, I'll sort yeah. that out for you later. Okay. Hi. How's it going? All right. Yeah. They're going to arrest my stepdad. Good. Don't have to worry about him anymore. We're going to put him in prison. Well done, Kerry. How's the foster? Are they nice? Yeah. So things are getting better. School. Okay. Would you like a drink? There is some lemonade in the fridge. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse us a minute. Okay. What the hell is she doing oh, here? 
Demi. Only contact with her mother should be in our office. Well, I didn't know she was going home until now. No. She tells me she's playing with Paula and Lucy. And Jules comes back on time. And then she does this. I can't get her to stop. She'll just need time to grow out of it. Every time I put the room right, she does it again. Look, this isn't any kind of rejection of you. She's just gonna take time. Is that yours? Yeah, Bridget gave it to me. Nice. She didn't want it anymore. What have you got on it? Oh, God, that's my bus. See ya. See ya. Bye. Friends last night. I, I saw you two on the hook. On the hook. On the hook. Oh, sure. You see her on the corner. Then oh, oh, no, 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 no
doesn't understand you, Petal. I know how it feels. Been there myself. I used to have a mum and a stepdad like yours. You don't have to tell me it does your head in. I know it, Petal. And you can do without this guy, too. Don't listen to him. You deserve some respect. Harry, don't listen to him. So you can start feeling good about yourself. He's a pimp. He just wants you because you're I the only way... I know what a pimp is. I can get you away from this hassle for a couple of hours. Leave this girl alone. Run away. It's up to you, Petal. No pressure, right? You want to go home, because it's home. But it's hell. Home is hell, yeah? It's like a bad drug. You can't get off it. Every time you go back, you keep thinking, it's going to be all right now. But all i got to do is be a little bit nicer to my mum, my stepdad. But they keep on hurting you, don't they? Yeah? It's time to stop taking all that shit. Start feeling good about yourself. You gotta start having yourself some good times, yeah? You gotta see all those bad times as just water under the bridge. I'll let you guys hang out here, because they're kids home. It's no good for nobody. Music, sweets, spliffs, booze, videos. It's all yours, Petal. Place is all yours. Tracy will look after you. And when you want to go back, we'll call you a taxi. No hassle. All right? Pretty good, yeah? like now. The thing about money, the beauty of money, is that it buys you freedom. And that's freedom to do what you want to do. If you want to escape, whatever the hassle is, with money, you can do it. No other way. But you've got to start earning the money. Well, that's a problem, yeah? Yeah. Not anymore. First punt they're in is Eric. Full sex, 30 minutes. There'll be a knock on the door when his time's up, but he's a regular. He knows the form. Then have another few at four and quarter to five. And there should be another before you've finished. But most of them know the form, but don't knock yourself out, yeah? Pace it. Shower there and condoms. And it's your job to clean up after each punter. Stuff's under the sink. Don't go anywhere on your own. Or with anyone else from now on. I look after you. All right. Good girl.
There we are. Thank you. Kerry? Kerry, you alright? Yeah. I saw you come in. You looked like you needed someone to talk to. I'm in bed. Okay. See you in the morning? Yeah. Good night. I'm trying to get my fiance, Jane Goff. She's with your company in Jeddah. Yeah, that's right. But I get, yeah. But I'm just getting a deadline. Right. But you have my number. Okay, so you ring me as soon as I can get through, yeah? Okay, thank you. Yes, yes it is. Do you need anything done? What do you mean? Anything like what? I don't know, anything. Oh, you want to earn some money? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure it's a good idea. I can do anything. I can clean or wash. <laughs> I can't pay you like you're a maid, Kimmy. Don't pay me then. You want somewhere to hang out? Is that what this is about? I spend a lot of time at my desk here. I won't so. talk or anything. I know. But you'll be around. You'll be here. And I'll be aware that you're around and... Let's have some tea, huh? I'll make it. I can make tea. How's Springfield? It's all right. I ain't staying there. Really? Here you go. I'll get myself sorted. It's a pity they can't find you a foster home. I'm surprised. Are you getting any proper counselling? Someone you can talk to about things? Yeah, I'll go to some doctor on Tuesdays, but I don't tell her nothing. Why not? I don't like her. There should be someone you can talk to about what's going on. It's water under the bridge. It's what? Water under the bridge. Who told you that? What's the matter with it? Nothing. Nothing at all. Do you want me to try and find you some other kind of help? Can I keep it? Yeah, sure. You see, I don't think Springfield's the right place for you. It's too close to home. You're not getting proper counselling. Well, at least I got a pound. Did you hear anything I said? Yeah. 
What time do you have to be back? Dinner time, but I ain't bothered. You must have to catch a couple of buses. Get a taxi. What? You came here by taxi? Yeah. Is that why you need to earn some money? Money buys your freedom. Yeah. But I can think of better ways of spending my money than on taxis. They get you where you want to go. What's better than that? <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> well, at least I can save you some money. Come on. I'll drive you back. Can't you drive in? No. Better stop here. Please drive in. No, the thing is just... Please. I promise I won't ask again. Please. Please. Okay. <clears throat> Onto you. Well, I don't mind her visiting me. Yeah, but you would if it becomes a regular thing. Well, to be honest, I'd rather she visited me than go home or hang around that place, Springfield. Well, you must be able to do better for her than that. Well, um, we could always lock her in a secure unit because that's the only other option. I'm not going to do that to her. Look, I've been doing my research and I found this place in Bournemouth. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, I know. Ash House. Yeah, and it has proper full-time counselling. It's out of our area. Good. Surely she needs to get a bit of distance between her and her home. Look, it will cost us 900 quid a week to send her there. We haven't got the money. It's out of the question. No exception? No. You sure about that? Yes, I'm sure about that. So what if she ran away to Ash House? Don't be ridiculous. And besides, you know, we'll still have to pick up the tab. Oh, so they would let her in? They don't turn children away, but then I can't tell every child on my book just to go off and, and run away, can I? She has to be a special case, Bridget. Come on. Well, take any girl that's on my books and she's a special case. I can't tell them all to run away. Jane? What are you doing? Putting on a clean sheet. I'll put the other one in the washing machine. Why? Because this one's clean. Yeah, but how did you get in? Got a key. Where from? Kitchen drawer. You need my spare key. It's a long way to come if you're not here. What else? No, you, you don't need to do that, Kerry. I can do my own sheets. I want to do them. What else have you done? I mean, around my house. I haven't done the toilets. I'm going to do those next. No, I really don't want you to do my toilets, OK? Thanks, anyway. I think I've found the perfect place for you. It's called Ash House. It's in Bournemouth. Now, I've looked into it. Social services don't have any money, but I think we can get round that. Maybe through the school. Why don't you have a look? I don't want to go to Bournemouth. Well, have a look anyway. Uh, put it in your pocket. Right, there you go. Can I come here again? Yeah. Of course you can. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you going to school today? 
Judy's taking me to the dentist. When's that? This afternoon. Is this how you feel about yourself? No. So why don't you rub it off? I will do. Do you want me to do it? Okay. How did you get on in that maths test? I got 73%. Hey, that sounds good. I came third out of the whole class. Brilliant. She said I'll be in the top set next year. Too right you will. There we go. You know when you feel like that about yourself? You should come find one of us. Talk to us about it. Don't punish yourself for how you feel. Hmm? Yeah. If you tell anybody, they won't believe you. And I'll lock you up in a secure unit. And I will make sure you never get out. No! No, get out me! No! No! Get out! Jane! <laughs> Baby! Mm. It's good to see you. Can I have it wrapped, please? What's this for? I want to go to Ash House. Where did you get all this money from? It's to go to Ash House. Oh, Carrie. Carrie, I can't. It's not how it works. If I could send you there, I would. Where have you been? I don't give a toss. It matters to me. I'm not going to live here anymore. You don't have to. I know I don't have to. If you want to try another foster home... I don't want another foster home. I just want to get out of here. There is
isn't anywhere else to go in this area. I don't want to be in this area, that's what I'm saying. I know that, I understand it, and I'm trying to help you, but I cannot do anything about it. You can't do shit all about anything. Hello. I want to stay here. Come in. You don't have to give me money. Come in. This floor is girls only. The boys are on the next floor up. And this is your room. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was on. It sounds off as soon as anyone goes through the door. You can come in now. It means no one can come in without everyone in the whole house knowing about it. Here. There's a light here. You can leave it on during the night if you want to. You can see the sea from your window. Are they the only bags you've got? Do you want to borrow a T-shirt to sleep in? Have you got a toothbrush? No. Well, that's OK. We've got spare. Thanks. 